welcome. I'm so excited for you to be my new VIP customer. I want to walk you through a few basics of our products. I know that you know how to shampoo, but Mani is a little bit different than probably the products that you're used to. And I want to make sure you have the best possible transformation and you feel confident moving forward. Our Rejuvenique oil, this oil is unique. It is the only oil on the market that mimics your body's own natural oils. It's 13 cold pressed essential oils. The molecular structure of it is so super small that it actually penetrates your hair follicle and it actually penetrates the scalp to work from the inside out. What makes our products so unique? Most all of our products are infused with our Rejuvenique oil. So think about it like natural peanut butter, how the oil rises to the top and you continuously have to like mix it up. That's the same with our products. So always give them a good shake. Any of our products that look like this, they do have a hole on the bottom. That is going to make it so it's easier to have the products come out when you are in the shower. You don't have to take the entire lid off, but I do wanna make sure you are aware. All of our products also come sealed. So when you are first getting your products, you want to take the seal off. You're gonna put the lid back on. I want you to tighten it really well because you're listening for that click. You guys hear that? That's how you know that it is actually activated and it's working. So when you're using the product, you just do a little half turn, you add the product to your hand, you close it. Just be mindful that it is all the way closed because you don't want to lose any of that product. Our products are also super, super concentrated. Less is more. So if you are using any sort of grocery store shampoo or even salon quality shampoo, most shampoos out there on the market are 20% product, 80% water. Ours is 60% product, 40% water. So not only do you have to shake it up for those natural ingredients, but you also don't have to use as much. So if you are used to just like lobbing a bunch of product on your hand, smacking it on your scalp, that's what I want to teach you today is make sure you do it differently. Depending on the length of your hair, obviously if you've got super short hair, you're gonna use a whole lot less. Anywhere from like a dime to a nickel to a quarter size, depending on how short your hair is. So if you've got like shoulder up, you're gonna use a dime size. If you have like shoulder to mid length, you're gonna use a nickel size. And anything I would say probably from like here down, you're gonna use a quarter. You might be thinking, Nikki, there is no way. I've got super long hair. My hair is super, super thick. What I want you to get in the practice of is instead of adding more product to your hair, add more water. Because again, the products that you're used to are probably 80% water. They already have the water in it. Ours is super, super concentrated. So start with less, but once you add it to your hair, if you're like, I still need more product, cup your hand in the shower and add more water to it. But with like the bond leave-in, I'm only gonna use about a pea size amount. Now, if you have something with a pump, I would start with one pump and then move up from there. When we're talking about the Rejuvenique oil, when we're doing overnight oil treatments, it's not going to fill to the very top. When I do overnight oil treatments, I would say I do about that much on my scalp and I'll go in for another and add the rest of it to my ends. So, and then if you get started with the Iyer um, Thinning Serum, again, that plunger actually does fill up a little bit more depending on how much is in your bottle, but one treatment um, will work with one plunger full. A lot of people I realize don't shampoo twice. Now that is not unique to Moni. That lather, rinse, repeat is going to be on most all shampoo bottles that I've seen. If you are going to be shampooing your carpets, you would go in with the vacuum first. That's the same thing with our products. All right, products in action. So you are going to do probably about a dime to a nickel size. You're gonna be in the shower, so your hands are gonna be a little bit wet. You're going to apply it to the palm of your hand. You're not going to just put it directly on your scalp. But the biggest thing is I want you to emulsify. So often people will just kind of like rub their hands together a little bit. I want you to actually get your hands to look like lotion. Notice the difference. And then you are gonna focus just on your scalp. A lot of people will go in with their shampoo and they will do their scalp and they will do their ends and they will do all of it. Shampoo is specific to the scalp. That's actually how we picked your shampoo is based off the health of your scalp. You only need to clean your scalp. So you're going to shake the products first. You're gonna apply them to the palm 
palm of your hand, you're gonna emulsify them until they look like lotion. That activates those natural ingredients and then you're gonna work it all the way in to your scalp. You're going to lather, you're going to rinse, and you're gonna go in for a second wash. Our products are not going to lather that first wash and that is completely normal. Other products contain an unnatural ingredient that gives you that false lather on the first wash. The lather is what tells you that it's clean and that's why we're going in for that second wash. That first shampoo, we are working to remove. That's what we are doing to clean the scalp. It's not clean yet, we're cleaning it with that first wash. We're removing any sort of product buildup, environmental buildup, maybe some dandruff, some dead skin, maybe some sebum. We're removing all of that with the first shampoo. That second one, we're going to actually add in the nutrients and that's when you're going to see that luscious whipped lather. Now, when you're new to money, if you have been using a product that maybe contains wax or silicones in it and you get to that second wash and you're like, I don't feel that luscious whipped sudsy lather, you might have to go in for a third wash and that is okay. That is temporary while the products are working to remove that buildup, remove that wax and remove the silicone from your hair. But that lather is what tells you that your hair is clean. Shampoo, just the scalp conditioner is going to be the ends. We're going to use about a, about a nickel size. We're going to put it in the palm of our hand. We're going to emulsify it again. That's not good enough. So your hands are going to look white like lotion. There is only one conditioner that we sell at the moment that you are going to put on your scalp. That is the Intense Repair Conditioner. That's part of the IR Clinical line. That is because that contains extra capixel in it and its goal is to help with hair regrowth. Any other conditioner is gonna be placed from the ears down. And the reason being, the shampoo works to clean the scalp. The condition is more of like a treatment. It's used to seal the cuticle, but we want to avoid the scalp because we don't want to plug up those hair follicles. I like to just kind of grab my hair like this and work it down. There's a couple other in-shower products that you might have, but we will go over those in your one-on-one -on -one to be more specific to your routine. But another one that I wanted to point out is a hair mask. With this one, typically what I will recommend is you will shampoo twice. I like to go ahead and add my conditioner and then I will add the hair mask in on top of the conditioner. With this, I just take my two fingers and I get a good dollop. And then again, I put it into my hand. You don't really have to emulsify it quite like you would the conditioner or the shampoo, but I just work it in to my ends. I like to tell people to do the hair mask on leg shaving days, or I do it on the days that I clean my shower. You want it to sit for a good, I would say three to five minutes. The longer, the better. One of my favorite after shower products are the Unknot Detangler. I don't really feel like this is a heavy product. I go pretty heavy on this. The reason why your hair might feel a little bit more tingly with using Monet is because again, we don't have wax or silicones in our products. Those are extra unnatural ingredients that are added to most other products to give you that false sense of that slip feeling. Your hair might feel a little bit more tangly outside of the shower. That's not a bad thing. So I will often recommend our Un Not to Tangler. We'll also use a wet brush out of the shower and I start from my ends and work my way up. This is my favorite, the Bond Leave-In cream. I also want to point out that it's not a great idea when you're starting with money to jump back and forth from other products. If you start with maybe the shampoo and conditioner with money, but you're using grocery store dry shampoo and hair mousse and gel and your styling products, those products probably, again, have wax and silicones in it. So you're doing all this work with money to clean up your hair and then your other products, you're just adding it back in. So they're constantly working against each other. So I will say if you want the biggest transformation and you want the quickest results, I would say go all in with Monet. Now, if budget is an issue and you have to kind of separate it into different orders, just know that it might take you a little bit longer to see the results that you desire. Depending on the health of your scalp and the health of your hair and what your goals are, I think it's super important to set up a realistic time frame for your goals and set those clear expectations. It depends on if you're going all in with money, if you're using other products with it, if you're being consistent with the regimen that I set you up with. But if hair 
loss and growth is a goal, expect it to take a year. In the first two months, you are working to stop the hair loss, rebalance the scalp's pH, remove any sort of buildup, any sort of wax silicone buildup that you might have from the years of other products that you were using. Months two to four, that's when you're gonna notice more of the natural growth start to happen because in the first couple of months, we've cleaned everything up. So now your hair follicles are cleaned up. You can start to see that natural growth happen. Month four to six is typically when you start to see some noticeable hair growth come in. Then at one year, that's when you're typically seeing those best results. That is also why it's super important that you take progress photos. Now I do prompt a lot of these, especially when you first get started, I'll ask you to take lots of photos but I want you to take photos throughout the process as well because often when we're looking at ourselves, it's hard to see that change. It's kind of the same way when we diet. You're looking at yourself constantly. You're like, I don't look any different. My hair doesn't look any different. But once we can start comparing those photos, that's when you can actually start to see the transformation roll out in front of your eyes. So those progress photos are super, super important. Pretty much at every end of every text I send you, there's a link to a VIP page. There's a lot of really good information in there, how to edit your flagships, how to take advantage of your VIP points, what the perks are that you get as being a VIP customer. Make sure you take a look at that. Bookmark the page. There's a ton of really good information. Flagships, these are basically a fancy word for your refills. These are not auto shipments, but what I do love about them is they guarantee a check-in point with you and I every two months. So Monet is going to send you a flagship reminder seven days before your refill is about to process. I'm going to check in with you two days later. You can push out the refill another 60 days. Again, our products are super, super concentrated. Depending on how often you are washing your hair, you probably only have to purchase shampoo and conditioner maybe twice a year. But often what customers of mine do is they get introduced to the skincare and the wellness products as well. So one month they're purchasing hair care, the next month or two months down the road, they're, they're building up their stock of skincare. They might start adding in their wellness. By the time you know that gets done, they're back to the hair care and it's kind of a cycle. And that's typically what people will use their flagships for. I don't recommend that you cancel them because you can just easily push them out because that gives us a chance to connect with each other. You also get a lot of really good perks with having an active flagship. So you get free shipping, you get a free product. We also have flash sales. Typically we have a sale on Friday. I always post this on my Instagram page. Speaking of Instagram, I also have a lot of really good information. I do a lot of tutorials on there as well. So make sure you follow me over there. I mentioned before VIP points for every $150 you spend, you get a $15 coupon. I also do offer a referral program. So when you're loving your hair and your hair is changing and your friends and family are noticing, if you invite them to fill out a hair consult or if you invite them into a conversation with me and they enroll as a customer as well, I will send you a product or a gift to say thank you. So I also do monthly giveaways. So every time you place an order, the next month I'm gonna ask if you wanna be entered into my monthly giveaway because I love to spoil my customers. All right, friends, the next step is once your products arrive, I'd love to jump on a one-on-one -on -one call with you to go through your specific products, make sure you know your routine. We talk about your specific transformation and answer any sort of questions you might have. I hope you have a great rest of your day.